Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller here. This is the next podcast for the emerging, undiscovered, or moreover, the uh, legacy holders that have been doing their thing for a minute, keeping their names very much on the street. I'm bringing it to the forefront right here on the podcast. Today we have a very special guest, good friend of mine, gentleman from the south side of things, MC Hip Hop Virtuoso. Tubby boy, how are you, bro? Fuck off, family. We say, my bro, boy, that was an intro. That was all my days. <laughs> hey, there, we only dealing intros. Here. How oh, are you, bro? I'm good, fam. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm good, bro, fam. This is mad <laughs> to me because obviously, bro, if you don't, this is. <laughs> this is this, you know I'm saying? this is killer killer bro like this is no joke so don't mind me if i fanboy a little bit bro hey, stuff it brother just a little bit man but uh, yeah i'm bro yeah. honored respect fam thank you for having yeah. me bro yeah. honestly bro serious serious not Incredible. a bad day for it how's uh how's hip-hop for you at the moment um bro hip-hop's a culture man it's just a. Mm. Uh, it's more than just music man mm. it's more than just music hip-hop's a feeling hip-hop's a a lifestyle, mm. do you know what I'm saying? So when I get that question, it's just like... It's very broad, isn't it's it? It's very broad, but it's never changed. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, music is just one aspect, man. Mm. Music is just one aspect of things. Um, you know, the whole four pillar thing when mm. it comes to hip hop, man. Mm. So it's still alive, it's still thriving. Um, and yeah, man, I'm still deeply in love with the culture, deeply in love with hip hop mm. and music in general. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm loving it, man. I'm just. I'm just loving it. Just want to put that that quote unquote that real mm. back in the forefront of things again. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? It's and, very um, it's very much a spiritual journey, isn't it? Bro. <sighs> yeah. Undoubt- like, undoubtedly, bro. <laughs> yeah. Undoubtedly, man. Scarily so, isn't it? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You can't. I think once you're in love with something, you kind of become it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? You kind of become a part like fully ingrained in the fundamentals mm. of what you believe is mm-hmm. the culture. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So Does it override relationships? It can do, bro. Mm. It can do. Like it can do. I mean, you could put your you could put if you're creative like myself, bro, I've been snoozing and I've had to jump up because I've had this beat idea. I've had mm-hmm. this beat idea. Yeah. And I've got to go do it, bro. Mm-hmm. I've half like, bro, what are you doing at this time? Mm-hmm. Kid baby stuff. I was like, bro, it's got to be done. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, got to yeah. be, I've just got to let this out now, man. I've got to, it's there, do you know what I'm saying? So if it's just like little little bits and bobs like that. And in terms of like having relationships with people, a lot of the time, because of your integrity and your dignity based on what you believe in due mm. to the influence of hip hop, mm. Sometimes you've got to kind of cut it off and some people may see it as you being combative, mm. but a lot of the time you've got to stand on what you believe and based on something you heard from KRS-One. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> something that you... I've heard this before in a song. Like, I've, yeah, I've yeah, heard yeah. this before. What did he do? Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and it's because you're so in love with this thing, man, mm. you learn so many lessons. Mm. You hear so many lessons from teachers you've never had before apart from the one that was in your tape deck. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's the beauty of hip hop, man. So yeah, but in terms of relationships, man, it could, you end up putting a lot of relationships on the rocky roads, man. Mm-hmm. Because, I don't know, you hear and you believe in something. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot of music out there that, that hollers a very similar sentiment. With hip hop, I think somewhere in amongst it all, there is this unspoken desire, isn't there? Oh, for sure. Where does that desire come from? Where, where did, what is that thing inside that? I think it's just the culture of, um, when it comes to, for example, MCs, um, MCing, you have to be humbly, humbly arrogant. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, you gotta believe in, you gotta be so confident within your skill set to say that you're the best and mm. to be the best. And yeah. you always desire to be, become the greatest mm. hence why you get so much some of the most incredible lyricists because they the the penmanship and how many hours they put into mm. their craft is what they want to put on the forefront before mm. anything else before the music videos before the way they dress before anything mm. that 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 skill set is the forefront of who they are mm. do you know what i'm saying so that desire to be the greatest amongst your peers or be the best in a room or yeah. to be the best on a stage yeah. it's part of the culture do you mm. know what i'm saying um, same thing with break dancing. Mm-hmm. The whole point is to be the best, yeah, to, yeah. to be the best. Same thing as being a producer or a DJ or anything. Yeah. Even the to the even fashion. Mm. 
Mm. You want to always, you want to say you're the flyest. Mm. You know, it was, it's part of, it's part of the culture to want to be the best. So I always use it as like arrogantly humble. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So me, me, there's different, and there's different ways people take it. Like me, myself, I, my approach is, I want to, I want to be who I am mm. in what you hear. Mm -hmm. So I've, I want to fully represent what you hear. So when you meet me, you'd be like, oh yeah. How do you get to that point? Because you're right, you're a very um, flamboyant, characterful, you've got so much um, panache and, and drive and, you know, exhausting your personality into, into projects and tracks. Like yeah. how, how, do you, how do you encapsulate that in a song? Because that's not a, an easy job. I think a lot of the time it's um, relatability. Generally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> not, for not for you because you no, got it, no, but, no, but you know what I mean. Love, bro. I think I think it's just relate relatability, and um, having the essence of trying to be yourself and not trying to be something that you're not. Mm. And I think once you truly believe in who you are, it will naturally come across. Mm. Like example, just in a hoodie, and mm. but it's it's that's me, bro. Mm -hmm. No save. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But it's it's just who I am, and I'm not afraid to just be who I am. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I think a lot of the time, the people that are within the culture and people that really enjoy the culture, naturally, that's what they relate to because he's just like me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That whole thing of like, he's just a brother like me, mm -hmm. bro, that just does this thing, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I've always wanted to have that approach and I've always truly believed in being yourself and not trying to be something that you're not, bro. Do you know how difficult it is mm -hmm. to keep up appearance, bro? Mm -hmm. yeah. like, Bro, that is hard, yeah, fam. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, and people that do that, listen, hats off. If that's what you do, hats off to you, man, because that's not easy. No. Like, to come across as someone that you're not and meet someone in person and you have to be that same person mm -hmm. or you do in or just whatever in life, bro, like, that's, that's incredibly difficult, mm -hmm. man. You know what I mean? Whereas me... Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just tubby, man. That's yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like, exactly like, what we and I just like. want everybody just to know that raw. Like, I'm just like you, man. I just, I just do it. I'm just for the culture. In, in love with this thing, bro. Like, you know what I mean. And I always use this as an example, man. Like, I'm no different to nobody else. I'm no different to nobody else. I'm no different to no other creative. And I think the only thing that separates me, the only thing that separates me from anybody else that decides to do this, is that. One, I stand on an integrity and what mm -hmm. I believe in. And two, I just didn't quit. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just didn't quit, man. Well, like, you find your road, don't you? You find your lane. That's it. Yeah, man. And you just don't quit. Just don't give up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's that's probably the only thing that I've ever done. I've done different in comparison to everybody else. Is I've never given up, man. I've, I've, I've never quit. Mm -hmm. And I've gone through all the motions. I've gone through all of the emotions. I've gone through everything from, you know, from death to people that you love being in prison to losing lives to lo my my music being stolen mm. to just every emotion that could possibly come on this go doing this creative journey in any creative form you know what i'm saying there's there's always a time that you were saying oh, this is long bro mm. and i've done it you've probably done it a few times mm. bro mm. but just that's just the difference isn't it yeah. just, just don't give up just don't quit you know here's a difference and i think that's and for me, that's the hardest thing about being creative, man. It's just so easy to give up because you have so many much, you have so many more reasons. Because mm. doing anything in the creative space is incredibly difficult mm. to become somewhat. I believe success is subject subjective, and it's success is based on the eye in the eye of the beholder. But what people stereotypically deem as successful, um, it's very hard to become mm. that, man. It's very hard to get to that position when you do something creative, man. Mm. Very difficult and you have so many reasons why you wouldn't want to quit and it's hard, but that's that's the only thing that separates anybody from anyone. It's just, they didn't give up. What sets you up uh, in terms of a creative process? Like what sets you up so that you don't fall short on wanting to, nah, I just might just put it, I'll leave it alone for today. Like what's your what's your go-to? Is it is it slippers on coffee? Is it, Go into the studio, have a ready-built studio, good to go. Mike's always on. What's the pro what's the process for you? Uh, all right, so when it came to recording and studio, <laughs> I brought it to my house. Yeah. So I had no excuse, bro. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't do nothing, I know I'm a waste man. 
<laughs> because I ain't got no, bro, I have no excuse. You have no excuse. It's in your house. You have no reason not to be making anything. Mm -hmm. Like, you have no reason, bro. Mm -hmm. You can always find time. There's always a way to find time. And I'm a dude that has a partner and a kid. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, at, and at one point, pretty much most of my career had a nine to five. There's always time. You can always find time. You can always monetize your time correctly to do it. So that was the first thing. Bought the, bought the studio to the crib, bro. Mm -hmm. And I've recorded in my house pretty much 90% of everything you've ever heard me do or see me do. Um, and then the other thing is purpose, fam. And I think that's something that a lot of young people struggle with. Feeling purpose, finding your purpose. And I think mm -hmm. within everything, your purpose is there, man. You just gotta try and find a way to tap into it. You might not know it's there. Mm. But it's there, man. And even if you find something or somebody or a goal as your purpose, mm. go for it. Like, my new purpose is my daughter. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So I use that as my driving force, mm. never, to, never to quit, because I just think about, like, the worst thing that could possibly happen to me is me telling my daughter one day, you can do it, you can do anything, of course you can do it. And, then, and she turns around and she's like, well, you didn't. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's... bro, just... <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Heartbreaking. Bro. Just be. What was? Because you, you can't. Daddy can't say nothing, bro. <laughs> what can you? You're frozen, bro. You can't say nothing. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So that's my. That's one of my not fears, but that's one of the things that I drive. That 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 creates this purpose for me to keep mm. going. If you start something, finish it. Mm. Um, yeah, man. Most definitely, bro. And I'm independent. Like, always has been. I don't rely on nobody, and not to say you shouldn't, not to, not to say you shouldn't, yeah. but sometimes people will fall short that you trust. People will fall, fall short on that you truly relied on. Mm. And you've always got to not use that as an excuse to not do what you need yeah, to 100%. do. Yeah, 100%. So that's the reason why I moved this way. I'm always open to collaborate and work with everybody. 100%. Mm -hmm. Because I understand, even if you do flop with whatever you say you're going to do, I'm gonna get it done anyway. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna find a way to get it done. Self sufficiency. Hundred percent. And um, yeah, man, don't be, don't be fooled or misconstrued what you see on Instagram, my jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a dark, lonely, mm. hard, mm -hmm. painful road. And Create your own luck. You, bro. Hard work creates opportunity, and opportunity creates luck. Mm -hmm. And the only way you get any of it is by that first step, and that's hard work. It's mm. just grafting getting your head down and just doing what you love. And before you know it, it becomes something that you love doing. It doesn't feel like work anymore. Outside of the MC athleticism, that you're, you're you know, that's your kind of, that's your creative guide. What's the other thing in the game that you enjoy doing the most, that you see a creative oh, process to? Bro, for me, creating is just like a, it's a drug, bro. I just, Anything that's got some level of creativity to it, I'm like, raw. Mm. I can change that. Do you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Straight away, I'm latched, fam. And I know nothing about it nine times out of ten. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But I love anything to do with creative, being being creative. So, do you know, I like to host a lot of events. So, like, being a host is just keeping the crowd vibesy for yeah. a long period of time. Yeah, like, I bet you're really fucking good at that. No. <laughs> Honestly, I, mean, I, I do. I think, yeah, I can like, imagine yeah, you doing it. I just like random stuff, man. So... Like obviously, I host the Reggae Brunch, UKG Bingo. Yeah, I just know. got to say, big up DJ Menace, of course. Big up, of course. Big up Menace, man. Yes. Big up Menace, Broski. The general? Yeah, man, Broski. And we do um, old school bingo together. So just, these are just music events. It sounds like a lot of fun. It's just fun, bro. And because it's creative and I can be creative well, and interactive. Tubby's, with, tubby's a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Um, I love producing. I love producing. Um, like, I even started... Like another thing that I'm working on are kids' books. Wow. Yeah, nice. man. Like kids' books in rap form and um, like working with young people. That's all I've ever done. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to, we're putting together like a, a hip hop theatre piece. Mm. Bro, I just love creating, bro. Mm. It's just, it's, to me, I think it just comes with, you know, once you're good at something creative, you always think, bro, what else could I put this to? Oh, oh, yeah. What else can I add this to? Do yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? What else could I? And it, I love it. I love it. I'm just, yeah, when it comes to creating, bro, I'm just an open book. I genuinely really enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, and why you know hold I mean? back on what an idea could um, manifest itself yeah. into? Like, if it leans into a 
children's comic book or it leans into a music video that has you know nfts or you know these is, this is this is fun stuff well, it's meant to be fun right 100 percent, 100 percent. and i want to keep it that way man keep it fun bro keep it mm. just about the art all the other stuff that surrounds it bro i'm terrible at like the business aspect of stuff like mm. bro i can't I can't stand it, bro. Like, honestly, like, I can't stand it. Although I understand it's a fundamental of trying to earn money and trying to pay your bills and stuff, I completely understand. But that is the least, mm. most motivating thing in my life, bro. Mm. Mo I can't stand it. Bro. I think a lot of our, I think a lot of creatives suffer the the wrath of that. Yeah, it's um, yeah, man, because sometimes it gets lost in translation. Mm. And being creative, you start. I think I feel like creative people hang on to things, in particular. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know why. I think it's just one of them things. And um, a lot of things get lost in translation, man. Your motivation sometimes leans towards finances rather than the art, and then you find yourself questioning, sacrificing mm. your integrity and your dignity a little bit. And we've all been there. I've done it. Mm -hmm. I remember making songs and house songs that people were like, yeah, you, you sign this deal, you could pay, potentially get this, or yeah, man, we'll publish this and you'll get this type of money. And, and in my mind, like, right, that will change everything, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what? Mm -hmm. What, just write this quick? That's a quick thing. I could bear with these. I could, mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? But then when you do it, I'm doing the writing process and I'm doing the recording process and everybody's excited in the room and I'm like... Yeah, it's, it can be quite doing, it can bro? be quite misty, can't it? Because yeah, there becomes these fault lines of what, what especially in certain genres, you've got to hit the marker, and sometimes you've got to pull back to some of the most simplest melodies and bars that you say to yourself, "Well, I could anyone could have just done this," but that's the that's the order of the day with that genre, isn't it? Yeah, and it's just like, uh, hmm? do you know what I'm saying? And when you start doing that for a little while, bro. You start falling into that hole of this is long. Repetitions. Yeah, man, this is long. Like, you start falling into this thing, like, this is long, bro. It's tedious. It's not what I wanted to do. Mm. And then you fall into this, you fall, literally fall into that hole, bro, and you just got to find a way to say, It ain't for me. It's not for me, man. And a lot of the time, there's a lot of money on the line. Mm. That could change everything for you, man, for your family, mm. for everyone. Do you know what I mean? But ultimately, it's down to what you love, man. Mm. It's what you it's down to what you truly represent. Down to what you truly want to represent, mm. not just for self, but for other people, man. Like one day you're gonna have kids. Mm. One day, you know, mum and mum and dad might see this. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And are you like, is that gonna be a true representation of me? Like what they invested in for so long? Is this gonna be truly who I am? Because mm. your art is a part of you, right? And it's like, am I truly representing this art correctly? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The moral compass. Yeah, and it, bro, it kills me, man. Mm. It, bro, trust me, and it's difficult, man. So pick up all the creatives that are trying to stay, trying to stay focused on what they're believing, bro, because it's not easy, man. It's mm. it's, it's hard, bro. <laughs> it's, it's hard, bro. It's one hell of a sentiment. Um, all right, so what's the what's the future, my brother? What have you got going on? Um, for me, um, it's working a lot with these young G's, man. You know. Um, I do rap therapy. We got my boy Prof. So we go to different schools across the nation, man, and just wow. teach kids how to express themselves with this art of rap, man. And um, and it's beautiful, bro. To think, music for me was always the catalyst, man. It was always the catalyst to be put in this position, man. Mm. The whole point, all of my music is based on these young G's, bro, and how yeah. incredibly important they are. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? One hundred. And um, to be able to work in a position like that. It's incredible. So yeah, I'll definitely be doing a lot of that. Um, got an event coming up, Hip Hop Array. So this Hip Hop Array is just about a celebration of hip hop and vibes, man. You know what I mean? The first one's in October. And um, I hope to just keep on taking it around the world, man, and just people getting together to enjoy some hip hop, bruv. Mm -hmm. Some bangers. It's vibes and some bangers, bro. You know what I mean? And then we've got the theater show. Hopefully um, we'll get that locked down by the mid next year. And um, these books. So yeah, just just staying creative, man. That's what's to come. And me, music as well. I'm always putting out music, so I, I never really be like, I never put that out as a thing because mm. I it's just, just second. It's nature. just what I do. Mm. Yeah, man. I always put out just a ton of music anyway. So mm. 
you know, maybe put a, a project together at some point, because I do love a project, because like, that's what I've normally put out. It was always, nine times out of 10, it's bodies of work. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy the process of creating like a, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? I enjoy that, but more so now, I'm just so in love back with music, man. I'm just making beats and just doing my thing and just putting them out and just, yeah, just, just enjoying it, bro. Just really enjoying it, man. And that's the most important thing, enjoy it, man. Enjoy mm -hmm. it, bro. It's not here forever, man. Well, yeah, if here first, new music, where, where they find you? Everywhere, man, at Tubby Boy Music. Um, on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, and Tubby Boy on Tubby Boy on Spotify, you'll find me. Everything's there. YouTube, it's Tubby Boy, all, all my music videos and all the stuff that I've put out, man. So yeah, man, I like your boy, man. Follow <laughs> Hip Hop Array as well, the event space. Go jump on that. Um, but yeah, big up, man. Big up, big up. Enough respect, Tubby. Bro, no, nah, fam. Fam, we've got to go back to the first people. Do you know you might know who this is, bro? <laughs> Do you not know who this is? This is nuts to me, bro. I've probably tried to hold it together. I can't <laughs> like it. I've probably, I've probably tried to hold it together, My bro. brother, Tubby Boy Inside the Place, ah, next man. podcast. Let's go and get a cypher guy. Yeah, I'm down, bro. Find it on the socials. We are like that. Stay lucky, people. Love. Easy. Easy. <laughs>